What's going on guys? Welcome back to Code Salad. Today is a very special video. I'm going to be teaching myself Svelte using the assistance of GitHub Copilot. This one's going to be really interesting, so let's get right into it. To start today's video, I'm going to start on the Svelte Kit uh, page. I've never built a Svelte app myself, so I'm just going to follow their documentation here on how to actually install a Svelte app. So it's going to be npm create Svelte at latest, my app. I'm going to copy that and go over to VS Code. I'm going to run that with pnpm instead in my terminal. And it looks like it's asking us for a demo app. I do want a demo app so we have some sample code. And I do want TypeScript. I'll take ESLint. I'll take Prettier. And I will say no to browser testing for now for the sake of the video. And that's all it took to get our app on our computer, it looks like. So now I'm going to open up VS Code in that folder. You can see now that we are in here. It says my dash app over here. So I'm going to open up a new terminal now that we're in this VS Code. And um, earlier uh, I had issues installing Svelte. So I'm going to make sure I'm on node 16. And then I'm going to do pnpm install. And this should install Svelte dependencies. And this is everything uh, Svelte Kit needs to run, I guess. So now that that's installing, hopefully when that's done, I can just run the dev server and we'll have a demo app going. Um, but in the meantime, let me open source here. Um, looks like we just have kind of a similar layout to a Next.js app. So sort of familiar with what's going on, but that install ran. So I'm going to do pnpm run dev. And now that that is running, uh, oh, okay, so the URL is right here. I'm going to copy that. And that's going to go here. And we got an error. The error is asking us to change hooks.ts to hooks.server.ts. That's easy enough. And I'm going to refresh the page. And we got our demo app. It looks like uh, this is the home page according to the nav bar. If I click about, we go to an about page. And if I go to to do's, we are at a to do's page. And um, you know this has some stateful logic as well as looks like our home page has some stateful logic with this counter. But I don't actually care about any of this stuff. It's cool to see it running, but we need to start coding. So I'm gonna go back over to the editor and try to find where uh, that pages, so I'm looking for where this image is and this counter and stuff. So I'm gonna start with app.html and it looks like this is more of a template. I'm gonna to go to routes and I'm gonna notice that, okay, we have two folders and we have three files. So we have a layout file, which looks like it has our header, our footer and something that looks like a slot, I guess. Um, Sure, I'll enable that plugin. But um, yeah, uh, that slot, I guess, is what will have our content because this doesn't have that content in it. We have page.svelte, which looks like it it has a picture and some text. So this is that page. Um, it starts with section over here, it looks like, and then it looks like it has some metadata about the page as well up here. Um, before we get started, I'm going to pull in uh, Tailwind CSS via their CDN because I don't like writing bare bones CSS. So I'm gonna use Tailwind to style this out and I'm gonna empty out this section here. And if I did that properly, it should not only load, but it should load basically a blank page. Perfect. And I don't like that footer there. So I'm gonna go back to the layout and I think, yep, the footer's right here. Uh, please uh, subscribe to Code Salad and that'll be the footer of this app, cool. Um, but back to the page. Um, in here, let's add an H1. I'm going to give it a class. Uh, I'm going to give it a margin top to kind of give it some separation. And then font bold. Let's do text 7XL. And inside of here, let's do blog posts. Okay, cool. So we have blog posts. Uh, that's kind of large. I'm going to change that to 4XL. Okay, blog posts, and now that we have the title, we need to loop over all of our blog posts and display them. However, we haven't actually talked about that. So uh, two videos ago, we used a dummy database where it was just a JavaScript array with some dummy data in it. And so I need to find a place to put that. 
Um, it looks like these are .svelte files, even though they have some JavaScript up here. I don't know if I can like do all the import and exporting, so I'm just gonna go to the lib here, and hopefully I can just create like a dummy db.ts file and export const dummy blog db. Okay, and I'm gonna create title, and I'm gonna say svelte might be my new favorite framework. Okay, it auto-generated a blog post slug for us, a date, and content. Okay, so it has a whole bunch of content about uh, Svelte. I'm gonna go ahead and see if Copilot can create us some content. Okay, uh, we have some content about React. Since React is pretty cool too. Um, let's see if we can generate some more solutions here. I use control enter to see if uh, GitHub Copilot can synthesize with any solutions. And it looks like it has a whole bunch more blog posts that we can import here. And it imported a lot of crap actually that I'm gonna erase. <laughs> but um, we have a whole bunch of blog posts. Svelte, React, Vue, Angular, Ember, blah, 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 blah. A whole bunch of nonsense. But this is the skeleton of a, basically a database. So now I need to pull this into our page. Back on the page.svelte, I'm gonna go underneath the blog post and create a div. I'm gonna separate this from that a little bit. And uh, inside of here, I want to loop over all those blog posts. And I don't actually have those blog posts, so I'm gonna import them the same way I know how in React, which is um, you know through here. So get dummy blog data, import blog data. So obviously this isn't a real file, but it is in our lib folder. So lib slash dummy db, and this is gonna be an object inside of here, dummy blog db, and it auto-completed that for us. So I would assume this works, and it looks like it's auto-completing it so it knows about it. So I'm assuming this actually worked. So thank you Copilot for helping me there, but this is actually the harder part. I'm going to need to like, oh, I was, <laughs> I was gonna say, I need to loop over the blog post and display each blog post here so that you can see all the blog posts in a list and then you can click them to go to each individual blog post. But this thing seemed to figure it out for us, didn't it? Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, this thing never fails to amaze me. So uh, if this is correct, and I don't actually know this is correct, it uses handlebar notation. If this is how Svelte works, hopefully it works, but um, it created some UI for us that will display some blog post data, hopefully, and body isn't a thing, but uh, maybe just the date of the blog post. Uh, and it works. That is beautiful. So what happened there was it created some UI and also just looped over those posts for us. This is a lot simpler than uh, React in some ways because I don't have to go and like enter like a different environment for JSX to like be JavaScript. This was kind of straight up, so that was cool. And Copilot already figured it out. I didn't even give it any comments. Uh, but let's style this out a little bit. This is like a list of blog posts. I'm gonna maybe add some padding and then a border, um, border black. And okay, cool. I'm gonna increase that padding a little bit and add some rounded edges. Okay, so we have a bunch of blog posts here. And on hover, let's say I want the border to be a little wider maybe, so that you can see that you're hovering, you know? Um, and that's a little jumpy, but that's okay. When you click this though, I want it to go to the blog post page. And so, um, I need a button here, and I don't know how to do this, so I'm gonna create a um, link to blog post. Boom, we have been, uh, I guess that, <laughs> I do know how to do this, that's just a regular anchor tag in HTML, but I guess, I don't know if that actually worked. So let's, let's make sure, um, and this has some, well, I, I actually don't know if this works. So we have post.id, oh no, we have, sorry, we want post.slug. Yeah, so slash blog slash post.slug. Let's see if this worked. If I click read more, it takes me to that page, slash blog slash the slug of this blog post. So we actually didn't do any coding to make that page here. We just built the list. So now we need to create that route. 
So because we have an about page and a to-do page, I'm gonna assume to, to create slash blog, I'm gonna create a blog folder in routes. And this is the hard part, I'm gonna open these up. Okay, so it looks like we're repeating this plus page dot spelt plus page dot ts kind of all over the place. So in order to create a blog post page, I'm gonna assume I need to create maybe a slug folder and to copy react, maybe they use the square bracket notation, hopefully. Um, inside of here, let's do plus page dot svelte. And um, yeah, okay, let's, <laughs> I need to bring over this thing because I don't have a starting point. Um, but I don't need the counter. I will need the dummy blog data, I think. Maybe not, uh, but this will be, uh, this will be like the blog post title, right? Blog post, and then this will have, uh, you know, maybe some stuff about the blog post, and this will have, uh, you know, I'll just leave that as is, but we're gonna have different stuff here, right? We're gonna have like something like post, post dot, oh my God, it's like auto-completing, uh, post that title, and then underneath that, we're gonna have, you know, a simple div that's gonna have, uh, and if I can type, post dot content. And if it'll let me, <laughs> do that, right? It's gonna be something like this, except post is erroring out right now. It's saying that we don't have post, can't find name post. And that's the thing I'm confused about because in XJS I would return post from get static props and that would be available to this page. Um, but I don't really know how to do that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be using the database, but I don't, I feel like this file might just be for like a layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create that other file preemptively, page.ts. And what do these pages do? They export some stuff. This is page.server. This exports const load and returns some to-dos to the page, maybe. If I go to the page, is it, do we get to-dos somewhere? Uh, okay, they're looping over to do's. So maybe I'll let GitHub Copilot kind of take the wings here and I'll say load in or, or, or load data for blog post. Uh, and I'll, I'll get the dummy database because I, I think I will need the dummy database at least here. And I need to... Let's see, what, what do we do in that file? Um, actually, GitHub Copilot said something. Let's, let's run a synthesize, synthesize solutions. I, I always, I, you know, I, I don't always trust GitHub Copilot, but it, sometimes it surprises me. So maybe I'll take the first solution and see what happens. And I don't know why it always does this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this stuff down here. Um, we have a const load, so it's the same thing as the other file that's in to-dos async params, params um, could be where the page slug is, possibly, because we're reading slug off of params. Um, why is it erroring out? It doesn't, it has a, any type, so let's just type this out. Uh, and I was, I was really hoping Copilot was gonna hook me up with this type, but maybe, uh, maybe I can let it synthesize the solution here. Nope, it's just not gonna do that for me. So I guess I'll just do uh, params any can be in here. Um, and not even any, I'll do slug of string. And that way it's typed properly. Okay, so assuming that's what params is, uh, it's gonna take a slug and it's gonna loop over the blog post and compare that to the blog post slug. And, and if that's the right post, it's gonna return post to the page. Okay, that makes sense to me. If not, it's gonna return a 404. Um, okay, that makes sense to me. I'm gonna go over here and post is still erroring out, um, but maybe because we're bringing it in the other page and I'm gonna remove the dummy blog data from here officially, but maybe, okay, wait, 
Can't find name post, it's not defined. Okay, yeah, it's erroring out, but maybe it will work. So I'm gonna refresh this page and click read more. Um, that's not working. And let's, let's maybe figure out why. Um, we need to go to this page maybe. And let's, uh, to do's, is this like, is this being pulled in somehow? Uh, money to do's equals data to do's. Okay. Um, data. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, see if get copilot can just like get us some kind of data for the page. Uh, that seems like duplicate work. Uh, what does this page do? Again, just a script. Lang TS. And uh, importing a bunch of stuff and exporting data. Export. Let post. But to do is is on data. So maybe I'll just copy that and then copy this line and do post and data dot post and um, it can't figure out that type but that's okay right these things aren't erroring out anymore but is that okay as any i don't know how to type that but if that's gonna work and it did i think okay let me just confirm refresh we are on slash blog slash svelte okay and we're getting the content just to confirm, I'm gonna display all the content here. Uh, we have the date as well. Oh my God, it's working. Let me style this page, this is very exciting. And uh, if, you, if you don't know why, I'll explain. But basically, this is a full recreation of what, I, of what we did in the previous video now at this point. And uh, we can basically wrap the video up in a second here once we once we kind of wrap up our thought, final thoughts but this is a blog post page it kind of looks lame but if we take maybe uh if we take a blog post that's a little longer so let's take this last sentence here or last two sentences and make it like way longer um there we go now it's more like a blog post so you can go home you can see your blog post and this is all of them, and you can click on a specific blog post to view. So this is the this is the Vue.js one, this is the Angular one, and this is the Svelte one. So there you have it, guys. Uh, we have GitHub Copilot teaching me Svelte. Uh, we pulled it off successfully. We were able to recreate all of the functionality uh, from our other app. It maybe didn't look exactly the same, but this is still pretty good, I'd say. Uh, we created a kind of static page, and we also created a, a home page that lists a bunch of data out. Now, I could have got that from an API, but we created some dummy data. This was still very cool. Awesome work by GitHub Copilot. Awesome work, SvelteKit. Um, this was really fun to kind of work in this. I've never worked in Svelte before. It's kind of weird. Um, I, I'm not used to it. It's very, very, very different than React. People said that it's like very similar. I disagree. Um, from what I've seen today, but uh, yeah, I, I, you know, hopefully we'll explore it more soon, but thank you for watching. This was really enjoyable to make. If you want me to make more videos like this, please drop some suggestions down in the comments below. I love making these videos, um, and uh, you know, without further ado, uh, I will talk to you guys later.